Hi guys. I was doing a walk earlier and um, wow, it started raining. <laughs> Kenny gave me his fancy gadget to do this, um, which is kind of cool. Um, actually, I don't <laughs> really know if you're seeing me or what. But anyway, this is what I like to talk about as I'm walking around before it starts raining again. Um, well, first I want to bring a, address something with the Ukraine. In the Ukraine, I heard they found somebody's wallet that said CIA. Come on, guys, that's bullshit. Um, if you're an agent provocateur, you're not going to be out there having your ID on you. I was at the WTO in Seattle, and that's just not the way it works. <clears throat> I think whatever's happening over there has probably been co-opted. Those people have been struggling a long time. Um, <clears throat> I, I talked to someone who said she had been to the Ukraine, and the people there are wide awake and awesome. I believe her. I believe most of the world's waking up. And the thing is, is none of us want governments. None of us. I don't. Um, I'm not saying we don't need to have, you know, little nations, little councils, little somethings. But um, we're going to have to start doing it a different way. And I'm not going to repeat myself. I talk about this all the time. But here's what I'd like to talk about is solutions. Um, here's one solution. If we, you know, I hate the nuclear place. It's going to rain on his nice gadget here. Um, the nuclear thing really bothers me, but the indigenous peoples like um, Diné, Navajo and them have have had, have tried to stop the uranium mining for a long time. And I'm going to stand by this tree here and try to stay out of the rain. Um, the uranium mining is the core problem once if you could stop that you wouldn't have nuclear power plants nor would you have nuclear weapons stop the yellow cake um if you could find two good documentaries one would be solar savage and that's what they did to the marshall islands people testing them like rats um and yellow cake but it's very hard to find those um you'd have to go to the uranium mining festival to even see that and they'd have to be streaming it, streaming it online they're very expensive documentaries i was privileged enough to watch the four days of a uranium festival and the talks it was completely awesome i learned so much now to, i'm going to try to do this quick there's other things we can do um bombard monsanto corporation and tell them to go to hell we're only going to buy from local farmers, grow our own food, drink raw milk, <clears throat> because you have to stand in your power. I, I've thought about everybody meeting face to face, and you're going to have to do that in your local area. Some of us can go other places. I, I don't have children I have to worry about or anybody else, and, and I'm going to manage to travel, but I, I know some of you can't. And and for you, you, you have another part of the puzzle. Maybe... Um, Dig into some of these things. Um, meet people locally and, and just try to get involved as much as you can. Uh, I, may, I might have misspoke. Um, I got quite a few emails. But for those that, uh, that can, or you even invite people to your house to meet. Um, it, you know, I mean, it's risky, but is it worth it? Is Do you like the government or would you rather have people you've met, you know, on YouTube or other places that you think are sincere come to your house? I, I would, I actually trust the YouTube and, and the other social networks, although I'm only on YouTube, more than I do the government. Well, I don't believe in the government. We all know that. I won't go there. I consider myself ungovernable. Not that I don't believe that there should be some rules set in place. I do. But I believe each one contributes. Um, I wanted to touch on something else, too. Oh, the geoengineering. If we could get a pilot, that'd be great. I know a licensed AMP mechanic who used to work on airplanes. Um, I, they, and you're just going to have to take my word for it. I know they did some very strange things on airplanes. AMP is um, airframe and power plant. 
license there they can work on power plants or airplanes build them do modify them whatever um this person i don't like and they don't like me but at one point we did have a lot of conversations and i knew they were doing things with airplanes um would i interview this person no i just wouldn't it would be a big conflict of interest for my whole household um so yes they are doing things for example evergreen air was built to put out forest fires yet they put out not one forest fire but they're spraying our skies with something um sometimes i wish they would spray our skies with something like ayahuasca or something and let everybody just see what that would do because um i know people are looking into that and i can tell you by doing peyote ceremonies and stuff it really grounds you completely grounds you to where you see things in a whole different perspective um, and maybe that's just my humble opinion but there are some natural things on this earth that could open your mind up to a whole nother way of how we should act towards one another to the plants the insects the animals etc when i when you plant seeds you're supposed to stick them in your mouth i don't know if you know this put your dna on it and then plant it it, it, it helps the seeds grow um more to your body chemistry and i won't even go in on that there's a lot of things you can do but just start buying local and i'll leave the link to the monsanto down below i think that if you want to tackle something gmos that's what you should do um i've been organic for quite a long time uh, I've been on the protest against Monsanto in this state twice, and it didn't pass. I mean, we couldn't get our food labeled because one suit came in there, and that's all it took to buy off everybody. So that right there, you, sh you should know the governments are paid off. Um, also, our governments invested in Monsanto. If you look at the CAFRs, and I won't go no further. Those of you who know what CAFRs are know what to do. The rest is just too hard. It's a boring, dull thing to look into. If you want to know where the money in the country goes and who's invested in what, you have to look at the CAFRs, Comprehensive Annual Financial Reports. It's very dull, boring, tedious work. Um, it's not fun. But that's a first start. Um, and then you'll know what's really going on financially. Um, so instead of listening to people tell you it's going to collapse, find out where the hell the money is. Um, now, uh, there was something else I was going to talk about, and I can't remember it. Shit, it's raining on me. This is my second time trying to do this video. Um, I'd like to say is we're all a piece of this puzzle. Oh, I wanted to thank Saru G and, and Johnny Black. Most awesome. Thank you for continuing No War Not In My Name. Uh, we should never let that rest. That was, um, wow. Did that not inspire everyone? Um, that was the most awesome thing. Everyone who put everything into that, um, all the little clips, it, it's wonderful. And thank you for doing a song about it. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I think that message should go out. Maybe we should start doing this daily with every war. Just remind people. Um, I mean, I might even put it on the back of our car. And the only thing that's on the back of our car says, unfuck the world. Um, but anyway, I do love everybody. I don't like division. So everybody try to be kind to one another. Let's love one another. Each of us is a piece to, to the puzzle. I know we can't all meet face to face, but we can certainly connect with people in our local areas. Although I can't, I can't really find anybody too much in my local areas except a couple. There is a few people I could. I'd have to travel some distance, but it's worth it. Um, and guys, we're looking for a place to live. I think we, we, we're trying to get this little cottage in the woods. Hopefully we get it. You guys send some healing energy towards this person who's renting it. So maybe they'll rent it to us. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Um, peace. Uh, I just wanted to come out here in the rain. We're supposed to get snow. I, I don't believe we will. If I wake up tomorrow and we have snow, it'll be a good thing. I'll have a snowball fight. But I, I do love you. Let's stop any division and drama on YouTube because the drama is separating us. And that's, that's what they, those controllers, it's kind of like a government thing. Um, we should just be carrying a message. Um, we're the messengers of, of, of living free and 
spreading things. It, it should not be about us. It should be about the message. So let the drama stop. Let's all get along. Let's all learn to love. And and let's get something going here. Um, that's all I got to say tonight. Today I'm getting wet. Peace.